really thought that you could trade with Zeller Dare. You thought. You thought. There we go. All right. So I, I, you told me to, uh, I had to, um, I had, I, I, I said a little one for, uh, for our man nostalgic right there. I, I, had, yeah. I, had, I, had, to, I had to grab the little, uh, I had to grab this off my doorknob real quick. Say a little one for him because yeah. this man got sent right to hell. Oh man. I, I want you, want you all to take him by the percent. Where are we right now in bracket? Uh, pretty far. Winner's side uh, top 32. That's and there's the word 32. That's what he was okay. at. Looks like you're getting Crash Gear and Nostalgia. Zero two, Crash okay. yeah, Zero Two Belmont. Honestly, I feel like this is a really tough matchup for the Belmont. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Boys are coming out, trying to get the paralyzer. Oh, actually hit it on, on the ground. What? I didn't think that would have worked. I think yeah. Crash Gear was like, I'll just stay here too. Probably... Oh, my God. That's the upbeat there. I wonder if that was it. Yeah, maybe. He's getting a little bit of range on him. Able to flip it out of the holy water. Oh, that's there, it. Yeah, that's Yo. it. Yo. Out his tether perfect, great stuff from nostalgic. Taking that first game, facing right around that perfectly. Wow. And he the fourth kill. That took a lot. That wasn't even a tipper, that was considerably early. Another thing, Kraskir really not finding himself off stage. I think that was really going to be an opportunity. That him. was so smart. That the fact that he run. ran into him and pushed him ahead so he guaranteed his loose kick would kill, that was so sick. Yeah, that's that's one of the, the small things people do to adjust. Oh my! Are we gonna see an even game already? No way! Oh, oh my, my god! god. No double jump, and that's it! That's Holy moly! Turn around, the story. Story. Okay, we're taking that Astro. Yeah. And it's oh! Just, like, I thought, oh, that's gonna be a little scary, but he yeah, opted the boost pick just for the sake of it. Okay. Nostalgic, nostalgic has to be really, really careful getting back to stage here. One, one uh, sweet spot there. No, oh. Crash Gear's the one oh. who ends up. All right, all right, all right. Nevertheless, that is uh, that is nostalgic. Providing a very, very good effort in that game number two. Falcon. Certainly nothing. Uh, interesting choice. Uh, we did, we have seen uh, ZSSs with pocket Falcons before, but I mean, you got to counteract. Oh man, you're you're going to be going into so many committal options. And Beast, even though they are aggro, they are more than content to just kind of sit back and let you uh, string you up by your own batard, you know? You know, one example off the top of my head would definitely be Mars, you know, like New England's finest player. For mm -hmm. sure, was a ZSS with the pocket Captain Falcon. I gotta be honest, so far this pick, I don't know if Beast is just waiting for the download right now, but so far it is very much working out for Nostalgic, who is doing a great job calling out all of Beast's options, getting him all the way up to 142, looking much more poised than the ZSS was in that first I just head. don't really see how that, uh, how that benefits you more than just kind of playing a little bit more patiently and letting Nostalgic come in with uh, with an errant Raptor booster shielding the Falcon kick. Yeah, I'm not really sure. You know, it all depends on like these personal preferences mm -hmm. that you think back air is going to take the stock, catching uh, Nostalgic's fall at a disadvantage there, or at the very least reading his jump. Now he's got him off stage exactly where he wants him. Not much a Falcon can do except time the upbeat perfectly to ensure he does not get hit by any of the fire breath right Ooh, there. Oh, the uphill! Speaking of timing! 
My word, getting that beautiful spike hitbox. One of Falcon's better buffs from the previous game going over to this one for sure. I mean, it is absolutely necessary, too. That needs to heal in his boot. That's not a problem with me. Yeah, there's a snake in someone's boot. I'm not sure whose it is, though. It's looking like it might be nostalgic if he's not able to get out of this corner situation. And unfortunately, oh, he there. will not. The tip of the tail. This is a... Uh... Kind of one of those interesting brackets where you're seeing a lot of players that you know go up against players that you don't. No one's really kind of risen up to challenge the uh, the standard guard just yet for their uh, for that dominance. However, you're seeing a lot of really interesting sort of interactions between these lesser known players and the uh, and the big dogs of the Wi-Fi realm and uh, nostalgic. Proving, okay, you know what? They have themselves a little bit of a Captain Falcon. They can be a threat and lose your side. But, uh, yeah, when you're going up against the Zard that practiced and, yeah, that uh, that good in terms of execution, it's a little tough to negotiate. I think if you gave Nostalgic just one more game, he would have been able to take that Zard to places it might have not necessarily been prepared for unless the Zard had another game. If that set was a best of five, I think it would have been a lot closer than it was that we got going on with the way Nostalgic had that counter pick on deck and brought him to last stock. A player of beast caliber, mind you, which is not an easy thing to do. So you got to give Nostalgic props point, yeah. for that. You got to give Nostalgic props for that. If I, if my, dude, my friend, if that wasn't a two out of three, I think that set could have ended in a lot of different ways. Beast could have won. He could have won. But hey, it was the top. Uh, it was the best of three is what it was. But now he's off to the loser's bracket to see what he can do down there instead. He's had the counter pick on point. That Falcon was shamoving with all those moves. The up tilt by ledge. Oh my god the pressure that he had with those up airs never really overextending with them ever except towards the very end when he just had one bad neutral exchange against beast and got the tail end of a back air for it literally and now that we're gonna see a